three core exercises for runners that you need to stop doing right now if you don't want to hurt your lower back. And of course, stick around and I'll tell you what you can do instead. Salut, it's Stefan from Safe Motions and welcome back my friends. If you're here, it's probably because you're already working on your call. Good for you. You should. I think it's great if you do. I'm proud of you. Now, before I show you those three exercises that I think might ruin your back, bear with me for a little bit of time and let's talk about what that mysterious core is. Stick with me. Now, I have a question for you. Let me know in the comments. What is your definition of the core? My quick definition of the core is all the muscles that stabilize your pelvis and allow you to stay strong and balanced, upright and on one foot. And why is the core so important? Because if your core is weak, then a whole set of secondary muscles are going to try and compensate and come to help in order for you to stay at the very minimum upright. These muscles are not meant to be doing this. So you're risking lower back pain, hip pain, postural dysfunctions, knee pain, plantar fasciitis, lower back. Again, if you're working on your core already, good for you. Like that video if you exercise your core. There's a ton of exercises with more risks than benefits that have become trendy because I don't know, trends. So here you go, three exercises that are dangerous for your back. Don't go anywhere. Right after that, I'll tell you what you can do instead. We're going to start with good old fashioned crunches. While these can be somewhat of a core exercise, it's very dangerous in the sense that it is, for most people, primarily a hip flexor exercise. You're going to use mostly your quadriceps and your psoas muscles. This is where the problem is. The psoas muscles are attached to your lumbar spine. So every time that you're crunching up, you're actually pulling your lumbar spine forward. So in my opinion, to strengthen the core for running, this is really, really, really not worth it because you can't run with a bad back. Now, don't get me wrong. We need the hip flexors for running, but not in combination with lumbar flexion unless you're running bent forward. Next up is double leg raises. Now, the problem with that is because of the weight of your legs as your legs go down, you might have your back arching on the way down. That can hurt your back for the same reasons that a crunch can hurt your back. Next up, Russian twists. In this exercise, if you add weight in your hands, you have a flexion of the lower back, rotation of the lower back, extra load, you're really challenging your lower back. Just to be clear, that's not a good thing. Oh, oh and there's that other one. These are the planks with the opposite knee to elbow. Now this one I don't really understand. You're in a plank position, which is great, and you're going to bring one knee over to the opposite elbow. Now in doing that, you're not really engaging any muscles, you're just letting one side of the hip drop. You're putting yourself at a risk of transferring that movement into your running. This is a common compensation of bringing the knee towards the midline. Now if you really want to do this, what you should do is as you bring your leg down, reach forward and try and go really as far as you can across go past that elbow and engage your obliques as you're doing it but i still don't think it's a great idea so i want you to replace all of those with the following wait for the third one it's in my opinion the best one curl ups you're in the same starting position as crunches but you're going to press and dig your feet deep down into the floor keep on digging all throughout the exercise it's going to switch off all your hip flexes so you know you're not cheating and compensating you're just using the core not the hip flexes you're then going to curl up the upper part of your spine reach with your hands towards the sky keep on looking at your hands and you're done side rotating planks you're going to get into a side plank you're going to squeeze in and lift your hips and rotate at the same time. This is really going to engage your obliques and you're at an angle that's not gonna hurt your back. If you're liking that video so far, click the like button and also check out my other video on how to test whether you're activating your core or if you're just compensating, link above. We're not done yet. We're going to do some single legged leg raises down on the floor, one knee bent, one knee straight, and just lift that straight leg towards the ceiling, keeping it straight. This is activating one hip flexor. If you wanna make it a little bit more functional, what I call functional for running, combine this with a floor bridge. So single legged floor bridge. You're going to lift the pelvis up towards the ceiling. Here, you have the glutes that are activating on one side. On the opposite side, you have the hip flexors. This is exactly the kind of muscle co-contraction that you have when you run. This is what makes this exercise, in my opinion, so powerful. If you want to do it with two straight legs, that's absolutely fine as well. It adds challenge. So place your thumb underneath your spine and make sure that your lower back is in contact with them and lower your legs. Now have a feel of that lower back on the thumbs. 
if you feel like your lower back is coming off of your thumb then you know it's starting to arch a little bit and this is your body telling you that that's as far as you should lower your legs for now now i hope this was useful to you have a great day abiatou